Oh. Car broke down today. Now oh. where is grandma gonna finger herself? Oh, hopefully in her shallow fucking grave. Stop bringing that up. This is from Hundreds a month ago. However, this is my first exposure to it. And I wanna know what chat thinks. It's real, is real. So this woman, I, I, I guess we could look up her name. Do I? Uh, uh, uh. This woman named J Bay, I think that's her name. Oh, look at her. She looks very, doesn't she look lovely? So this was an old story that I didn't know about, and then I saw it on my Twitter feed today, and then I looked into it, and it's from a month ago, but I still think it's funny. She kind of looks like the, the Manny from Modern Family, anybody? So this is the tweet I saw today. Plus size woman demands airlines change discriminatory policies that make larger flyers pay for extra seat. People with smaller bodies get to pay one fare to get to their destination. We have to pay two fares, even though we're getting the same experience. I have so much to say. If anything, our experiences are a little bit more challenging. You know, I've been saying this for years. Fuck Peanut. You know, you ever, you ever talk to Peanut? Short King Peanut gets on my fucking nerves because every time I have to try to have a civil conversation with Peanut about flying and try to get some level of like, hey man, flying sucks. You know what Peanut does? He gets, he kicks his little legs and he goes, I actually don't mind flying. It's like a fun little adventure for me. And I'm like, yeah, Peanut, it is a fun little adventure for you because when you go and you sit in coach, it's like you're in a go it's, and you're in a whole goddamn apartment to yourself. You're swimming in that fucking chair, dude. Okay, I'm with Fat Girl here. Fuck flying. It's horrible as hell. If you're over six foot tall, flying is basically uh, it's not even six foot tall. If you have shoulders, if you're a big dude, my my pain isn't my gut. My pain isn't I don't fold over the seats with my fat. For me, while I'm flying, if I'm in coach, my arms have to be like this. Because if I do this with my shoulder, if I sit up properly, my shoulders are in the other seats. In. But here's the thing about this, okay? I the only time I've ever had a problem, I have to be uncomfortable on a plane if I if I'm sitting in the back. I do. I have to be uncomfortable. I accept that. I accept that the only way for me to fly comfortably is first class. They should pay us large guys to fly. It's torture. It's true, right? However, the only time my seating actually became a problem was when somebody this big was sitting next to me. It was a, it was a girl and her boyfriend, and they were sitting, and I, had, I was the last seat, and I was right next to them, and I just could not fit in my chair with them next to me. The funny thing is, she's saying that this is discriminatory. Or here, I'll let her say it herself. Ooh! Holy shit. Got a Manny jump scare there. Good lord. Did you know that more than 1 billion people in the world are plus size? That's Okay, but plus size though. Plus size is a little different here. I think most plus size people can fit in a coach seat. I think plus size can sit in a coach seat no problem. That's roughly 13% of the population. And yet, many airlines still don't have clear policies in place to accommodate plus size passengers. They do. It's called first class. That's why I've started a petition calling on the FAA to require every airline to have a clear customer size policy in place for plus size passengers. I guess the right the question is though like what is what is the expectation here? Seats should be bigger because they don't fit you? Why? Flying is private. Flying is something that you is is something you pay to do. Are you going to go to Disney and say small world ain't big enough for you? Who can't like then, then you can't ride small world. Right? There should be something called economy plus size. Why? Who wouldn't buy? Bro, if there was something called economy plus size, it would be sold out instantly because people who aren't plus size want more room. And then guess what? We're right back to first class. If they made the seats bigger on planes, here's what would happen. Those would sell out instantly. They Congrats would start selling on six out so signatures fast. on that petition. Right? They would sell out so fast. And then eventually, over time, this would slowly develop into, guess what? First class. It's that simple. Just buy two seats. I think the point she's making is she doesn't want to have to buy two seats, but the point I'm going to follow up with is, but you made yourself this fat. It's called calling the airline and asking for a second seat. Yeah. I mean, yeah, right? Like, what else is there to this? Have you seen the tiny Excess body fat results in the increased production and storage of female and male hormones. In males, this can result in a lighter or a higher speaking and singing voice. And in females, it can mean a deeper or lower speaking and singing voice. Oh my God, is this real? <laughs> yeah, so that's why I don't have that problem. I'm going to hit play here.
Yes. No one should have to endure the discomfort, embarrassment, and discrimination that often comes with being a plus-size passenger trying to navigate air travel. By signing this petition, you can help us demand that airlines take concrete steps to make air travel more inclusive and accommodating for all passengers. Whether you're plus size or not, everybody deserves to be treated with dignity and respect when they fly. Let's work together to make sure that the travel industry serves everyone, not just a select few. So, so I, I, I think, I, here's what I think, right? I think in general, plane seats should be bigger because I think where they're at now is awful, but I don't, I wouldn't call it plus size accommodation. I would say current plane seats are just uncomfortable and they should be more comfortable. But the problem chat, here's the real issue with it though. The problem is, is that if they ever do this, you're going to eat the cost. And I don't think most of you want to eat the cost. I and some of you could probably afford to eat the cost. But then who is this for? Right? Because if they, let's say they take out, I don't know, 10, 20 percent of chairs and it gets to increase the chair size then. Right. Everyone gets a bigger chair. Well, you're going to pay more then. Is everyone going to pay more? Are you willing to pay more? I am. But are you? But that's why I don't fly coach if I can avoid it, if it's reasonable, right? I'll be honest with you. I, if I fly coach and it's a long flight, I am in immense pain by the end of the flight. Like day ruining back pain by the end of the flight. Um, I can't do it. I cannot do it. And you will well, we lose weight. It's, it's mostly my shoulders that will be in excruciating pain if I don't stand up and do this. My knees are the second biggest victim. Airplane cabins are more cramped than ever. Over the past 40 years, airlines have cut leg room and installed thinner, lighter seats, all in the name of fitting more passengers on board and saving money on fuel. This wasn't always the case. Ah, this is what we need to go back to, boys. Just me and a bro, a couple of beers, some flight goggles, nothing but open skies. Huh? He could suck my dick, no one would know. Look at how when men were women, huh? Yeah, good old days! Give me a cigarette! Give me a soul! Yeah. In the early days of commercial flying in the 1920s, airplane seats were just wicker chairs. Oh my god, what? After that... Who the fuck boarded those monstrosities, bro? Seats were made of aluminum, but look nothing like what we're used to today. During a post-World War II economic boom, more travelers took the skies, and manufacturers introduced larger planes with big cushion seats to match. Nah, and there was only nah, one class bro, of nah. As more passengers opted for taking planes instead of buses, cars, or trains, airlines introduced two class cabins. First class, an economy. All bro, first class was wild. What the fuck? I ain't seen no first class like this. Bro, first class is, can I just say at this point, I'm, I'm gonna, you're gonna call me bougie all you want. Today, not not like international or, or what is it? Yeah, not from country to country, but like domestic flight first class is just livable seat size for dudes over six foot. Domestic first class is just what coach should be everywhere. I'm sorry. I know. But the, hey, reality check, though, if that is the case, you're going to have to pay the cost of those other seats. An economy, also known as tourist class. Seat pitch, the distance between the back of one seat to the seat in front of it was about 35 inches. So why How did airlines start cutting legroom? What is it now? Money. The race to cut seat pitch really began in 1978 when the U.S. deregulated the industry. Okay, maybe that fat chick's onto something. For a different reason, but definitely she's onto something. While the smoke-filled cabins of the 1960s and 70s were certainly roomier, air travel was expensive. When they were regulated, the U.S. government set a floor on fares. A Whoa. transcontinental. Okay, that's not. See, I don't like that. Flight cost more than a thousand dollars. What? Okay, wait. So, okay. In the mid 1970s, while fares on similar routes can be about three hundred dollars today. That's actually crazy. See, here's where the all the this is the this is why your seats are smaller. Meanwhile, airlines used to sell refundable tickets and did not charge for check luggage or seat Son selection at the time, like some fares do now. After deregulation Frontier. in 1978, airlines competed on price, and more and more passengers were stuffed into its planes, including some of the newer jumbo jets. The industry rode through boom and bust cycles, faced bankruptcies, and consolidated, leaving four airlines in control of some three quarters of the Let's U.S. Go. market. In the 1980s, seat D Delta is poggers. You can't tell me otherwise. Pitch was about 33 inches. By the 2000s, seats had about 32 to 33 inches of pitch, and today we're down to 31 inches. Some. Bro, they're sneaking inches away. They are sneaking inches away, bro. These motherfuckers. Budget airlines offer less than that. On Spirit, for example, seat pitch is about 28 inches. Bro, 
I'm sorry. Frontier and Spirit, I'm just going to walk. I'll take a bus, bro. I'll take a train. Frontier and Spirit, I know. Well, I mean, you have money. I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm walking. Frontier and Spirit are ass. You ask for a glass of water, and they're like, take your fuck. Lawmakers now want to set minimums for seats on airplanes. I think they should. But what would the minimum be? I'm probably still too much of a big boy to be, like, help, like the minimum to help me out. Like, what's the average man? Including pitch, width, and length. Crazy. Well, there you go. Yeah, it's fucked up. Like, I don't think it needs to be plus sized, uh, or as that lady, like the how she is. I mean, five hundred pounds, four, 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 five hundred pounds. Accommodating you is ridiculous, right? We don't need seats that are, you know, as big as my Herman Miller Double XL. For the majority of the population, doesn't need that. You guys have a good. Uh, 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 I guess it wasn't the weekend. You have a good Monday, Tuesday. You guys have a good Monday, Tuesday. I woke up on monday i didn't either even though i'm in a great mood today i didn't okay i woke up on monday to something that's really hasn't happened to me since i was a like a teenager my credit card was compromised i got a call from my bank monday morning happy monday and they're like hey mr wubby uh is uh is this your purchase we need confirmation of it sailor but okay they didn't call so they they I got a text from my fraud detection and I'm like, huh? So I immediately call the number on the back of my credit card and uh, this lovely little, you know, she's lovely, lovely Indian lady. Love her. God bless her. It was really, we got to know each other very well over our two hour long conversation. And uh, we start going through all these purchases. And I'm like, yes, that's me. Yes, that's me. And that morning while I was asleep at like 10 AM, there was a purchase for Popeye's chicken in, uh, in Montgomery which uh, I was not in Montgomery and I was not purchasing Popeye's chicken despite wanting to. So I went, uh, that's not me. Instantly I know it's fucked. And now the panic sets in of how long has this been going on? Here's where it gets really fucked though. Okay, so I, I am, I think you guys, there's no, you know, we're, I'm a content creator, you know that, okay? And I'm also at a point financially where while I monitor my purchases, stuff like an Uber Eats order, I don't monitor it closely. First off, my card is used as my business card, okay? And uh, not in a literal sense, but as in, if Booty's gonna be buying all of the giveaways that we did, he's gonna use the card, right? So I don't monitor it closely. If I have to, I have to. If the number's way higher than it's supposed to be, I'll take a look at it. Um, but I discovered through auditing my credit card, Okay, now here it is, big reveal. For the entire month of December, some dude in Montgomery had been buying only, only Popeyes. My alarm's going off. He had bought Popeyes chicken in Montgomery through the entire month of December, I think like five times. And when, when, when that hit me, Okay, R right, bro is feasting. Now, whoa, how did you see it? Well, first off, December is an abnormally high month of spending for me because my family's Christmas presents, uh, uh, Christmas presents for friends, uh, all, all these expenses, right? December's a high spending time for everybody on this planet, right? So my credit card bill's a little higher. I didn't even think twice about it. Meanwhile, bozo asshole and you know what i oh my dad taught me this my dad works at a grocery store okay grew up working at a grocery store my dad's always worked at a grocery store and he always says you know if you come in and i see you stealing bread and peanut butter and uh, food to stay alive he's like i won't stop you but he's like these kids come in and they're stealing the most expensive steaks they can get their hands on they're stealing alcohol they're stealing th batteries to resell he's like what the fuck if homeboy was buying food, I get it. Bro, you are going to, he went to Popeye's like five fucking times. Homie, can I be honest with you? Homie probably thought he got away with it. He's like, shit, I just got a card that gives me free Popeye's now. This is what's really embarrassing. It took five times for my, my credit card company to go, you don't like Popeye's that much, do you? <laughs> I think he got a little excited. Okay, let me explain. I think he got a little excited because the most, a lot of the purchases, I, I'm going to be honest too, the story is less funny this way. I'm pretty sure he made one Amazon purchase for like 30 bucks, but everything else was Popeyes, right? 
but he got a little excited. He got a little uh, cocky because the one on Monday that my, my bank alerted me to was like 80 bucks. Like bro started buying for the whole community. And that's when, right? It's like, here's the crazy thing. Dude could have, listen, I'm not saying I'm okay with being stolen from. I'm, I'm, I'm not, to be fair. I'm not comfortable being stolen from. It's not even that the 30 bucks he stole is gonna damage my life. I'm not saying that either. It's more that you stole from me, right? But now greed is setting in. He's like, well, hold on. I got away with this for a whole month. Like he's going to his friends. Hey, guys, I got a magic card. <laughs> but what I didn't realize, and I haven't had my credit card stolen uh, in since I was, I was working at a grocery store, which means I was a teenager uh, the last time it happened. And now that it happened this time, do you guys even, can you even understand the inconvenient? Like, this is the worst part. Like, dude, if I, I would have paid this guy, I would have paid this man to just not steal the card. I paid him double what he spent because now, now, I, 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 the, the amount of auto payments, the amount of bills, I try to put everything on my card because you build credit and you build points if you can pay it off, right? So it's like, I guess it's gonna be a good audit for all these dumb reoccurring payments I have, but oh my, the amount of shit that's gonna bounce and I don't realize it, I'm gonna have to go through every fucking purchase. <sighs> hey man, I was thinking of stealing your identity. Wanna pay me real quick? Yeah, that's fair. So I got a new card. It is shut off now officially. And if the Popeyes guy, if you're watching stream, bro, I want to be, I want to be real. Yeah, if electricity gets shut off randomly, you know what happened to the Popeyes guy. If you're a fan, okay, you, you, we could have worked something out. You got greedy, bro. And you know what? It's it. <laughs> I don't know what it says about you that you stole a credit card and all you bought was Popeyes, but that shit's kind of crazy. Maybe expand a little bit. I don't, I feel like. God, I feel like I, maybe this is why I'm not a criminal, right? But I feel like if you had a credit card that was letting you swipe, you got a min max better than $80 at Popeyes. Like there's, I'm not, I'm trying, trying to be mean, but there's a reason you're broke. I'm sorry. I'm going to call a spade a spade here. If I had, oh, I just got this score. I got a credit card that's swiping for like 30 bucks. Why are you going to buy perishable junk food? Like, dog, I'm sorry. You're there because you choose to be. I'm sorry. But I guess that's why you're a criminal, right? He probably assumed you buy Popeyes. So he's like, okay, I'll sneak this by. That was mean, Alex. That was a, th I'm gonna tell you right now, I take that as a fat joke. I'm buying Warhammer with that bitch. See, at least at that point, you bought something for your hobby that you can continue. I'm not gonna, okay, hold on. Let me, hold on, hold on. Let me backpedal this for a second here. First off, don't fucking steal, all right? I'm not gonna justify it in any way. Don't fucking steal, all right? Bigger stuff will get noticed though. Yeah, but you can still, if he's if he was able to spend like 30, 50 bucks every time he swipes that card, I, if that's what you could get away with, why are you getting Popeyes, brother? Why are you getting Popeyes, dude? What is wrong with you? That is brain dead. Maybe he's hungry. Then go buy food. Go buy non-perishable groceries, dude. Bro's just hungry? No, no, you're making excuses for a criminal. Bro's not just hungry, dude. If you're hungry and you have 30 bucks to your name, I'm gonna, here's a little life lesson for you idiots, okay? If you're hungry and you got 30 bucks and that's it, if you're going to Popeyes, you're making a mistake. You're fucking up. You are done do you not watch caleb hammer i watch caleb hammer you don't need your fucking gas station taquitos when you're in debt sorry i've been watching way too much like financial advice videos you don't need your gas station taquitos when you got when you don't know how the rent's gonna get due bro i'm sorry i'm buying legos now that's fair see now that's fair <laughs> but fast food is so good oh, shit see listen bro you and i are talking right now you didn't steal my credit card <laughs> i can empathize with my poverty brothers in chat who wanna who wanna scoop up some jack in the box at the end of a long work week. Okay, because you didn't steal my credit card, okay? I don't know why I need to be nice to the man who stole my credit card. You've been watching too much Hassan, chat. Honest to God, like if I could if I could legally like smack this man in the face as hard as I can with an open palm, I would. Maybe he's a fan. Well, he's going to be a fan of this dick, dude. What do you mean? Uh, anyway. All right, we got to move on. That happened to me. It's been really fucking inconvenient. But thank goodness it was a credit card. If you get a credit card stolen, boys, the bank refunds it. You're good. 
Uh, the biggest thing that hurts is it, it inconveniences the fuck out of me, dude. Oh my god, but that's okay. Could have been worse. It is what it is. We move on. Um, should I suck your dick for a, for that card info? Y'all are we? What the fuck, dude? The did you get a new card? Is. Yeah, I did. I did. Love you, green man. But even getting it was inconvenient. They wanted it originally it was gonna take me two weeks to get it, and I'm like, what? Do, what do you mean two weeks? Have you seen Ruby Rose Crazy Fan? No, I'll look it up, but we got to move on. We got shit to do. Ruby Rose, crazy fan. No, wait, I did see this chat. Chat, this is ridiculous. Hold on, I'm going to just see if I can pull up a picture. Okay, so I don't know the summary of it. Let me see if I can give you a summary. Do you guys know who Ruby Rose is? I'll be honest with you. Uh, maybe I'm old. <clears throat> maybe I'm too white. Who is Ruby Rose? Is she like a musician? I don't know who any of this shit is, but anyway. Oh, there's her butthole. All right, Ruby Rose fans are scared for her safety after she revealed DMs from a creepy OnlyFans donator. <laughs> wait, is this? Wait, is this the TS? This is, bro. Okay, hold on, hold on. That's targeted ads. You relax. All right, all right, all right. Um. Oh, there's her Twitter. We found her Twitter. All right, I have images now to reference here. Let me read this to you first. Ruby Rose has been making a not a lot of noise as of late. Overall, this has to do with the fact she's been making moves as an artist. Bro, this article is cringe. She got to be part of Sexy Red's tour. Who are these people? And she continues to drop new singles. So she does do music. Furthermore, she has an OnlyFans in which she posts NSFW photos and videos. Unfortunately, the OF side of things is related to some parasocial developments. For instance, last week, a man spent 60K on her account. Oh no, things are starting to get weird. Oh no, aw oh, man. Aw, oh, I'd be really creeped out if someone gifted $60,000 to me right now. I'd be so creeped out. Well, there seems to be a development here, okay? Get on with it. Chop, chop, article boy. Jesus Christ. Yesterday, J. Ray with 10! It's that easy. We take it. What can I say? I'm a bit of a whore myself. Thank you, J. Ray. Appreciate the 10. Kind of creepy, though. Uh, yesterday, she revealed that the same fan had gotten a tattoo of her on his leg. J. Ray, we're waiting! Uh, furthermore, she revealed text messages from the fan, and in these messages, he got mad at her for not responding and giving him attention. However, he immediately switched it up and began apologizing to her. Oh, this poor guy, man. This this guy is unwell, dude. I say poor, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I don't... He's not on the right here. I'm, I feel bad for that, that mental illness right there. He... He offered her $400,000 to answer her text. Oh my God, I'm in this story now. Bro, I'm into this story, bro. Look, chat, I want you to hear me very carefully. I, I if a genie granted He's a crypto, me one bro. wish tomorrow. What do you expect? If, if a genie granted me one wish tomorrow, I would, I need, I would come out here. I would look, who, 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 who are we into? Who's the, I, I don't want to let I spy. She looks like she got Down syndrome. Who, who's, who's like a hot, Who's 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 like a who's like a hot a, 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 a black China? She's hot, right? People like her. I would look like Obama. Who's who are we talking? Man, it's getting away from me. The point I'm making is, boys, if I had the looks to, oh my God, 400k to answer a text, I'd be like, deal. What do you want me to be? I'll bark anything, bro, and whatever you need. 60k, sure. I'll get on Facetime, asshole first for 60k. Are you kidding me, Chad? Are you kidding me? Uh, he immediately switched it up and began apologizing to her. It was very strange behavior that made me uncomfortable. Okay. So wait, here is the, here, let's pull up this tweet. What are you doing tonight? Why aren't you answering me? I thought we had a genuine connection. Ruby, why aren't you answering me? I've invested so much money in it. Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, 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 uh. I am in love with you. Why won't? Oh, oh, bro got it twisted. No, I would do anything for you. I would fly anywhere to be with you. All that I can e ever think of is you. A Fay Fire World, thank you for the five. I, I think about you all the time. You could be my queen and I would be your king. Man, am I broke? Am I broke? I'm telling you guys right now, if a dude hits me up, and he's a crypto billionaire and he's saying shit like this to me i go well yes sir what do you need from me what do you who do you need me to be and yeah you want me to fly i'll fly well how do you want to get there 
Yes, sir. What, like, am I broke? How, or, or rather, how rich are these people? Maybe it's not being broke. Maybe it's because I'm a dude and I'm not scared of this guy. But I'm just like, yep. You want me to, yep, I love you too. Where do you want me? Where do you want me to stand? All day. Just tell me where to stand. It's because you're a guy. That's fair. I'm, I'm acknowledging that. We can even have a one-sided open relationship where you can do whatever you want as long as I know at the end of the day you come home with me and are only with me. Dwayne did just say, I mean, you did fly me out. Yeah, I know, but we didn't have, we didn't have a lot of sex. <laughs> Man, this is, uh, I, need, I, need the, I need the female, the, the lovely ladies, my beautiful women in chat, okay? So, Dwayne, if you want to call in... <laughs> I need I need some perspective on this because I'm looking at this as a as a as a as a dude. I'm looking at this as a um All right, where do I sign? <laughs> Cuz I'm like Bro, when I was working a desk job, I was waiting for some crypto billionaire dude to come sweep me off my feet and let me do whatever. It's he's so scary. No, it is. It's it I'm telling you right now. If, if there was a lady I knew that was in this position, I'd be like, why didn't you block him? Or actually, no, I'd be like, milk him. Milk him for everything he has and then block him. But never be in the same room with him. As a woman, this is scary. You're so right. No, you're so right. I promise I will treat you better. Oh, God, I will treat you better than anyone, Ruby. I love you with all of my heart. You know what I am wondering, though? What what got him here? What 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 is scroll? What was is this like their first interaction? What have they been saying? Like I do feel bad for him because he seems mentally ill, but also what's been said to this guy? You know what I mean? Is it just randomness? Is he is he if he it's just a porn addiction? Um, oh, he saw her boobs. Oh man, I want to have a family with you. I want only to be with you. I would quit everything and give up everything for you. Man, this is sad. Jaggy Daddy, thanks for the five, man. <laughs> I will do anything for you to love me. Man. I will give you everything I have just for a chance that you never leave me. Oh, my God. It keeps going. I'm going to keep reading because I'm so into this. Um, I want to be with you forever. In my eyes, I've never seen or known something. I'm quite sure. Okay, whatever. I can imagine waking up and like, oh my God, run my hands through your hair or getting the largest diamond ring that I can find so that it's on the hand of the true queen. I will buy you whatever car, boat, or jet, brother. I will take the jet. Ah, you're offering jets, bro. Oh my God! I will take the jet. I will do. I will. I will. I will do anything, bro. I will do. I, I will take the jet, bro. I only love you. I will give up everything, dude. Th what is up with this guy? Please don't ignore me, Ruby. I'm sending you more money right now. You're making me cry by not answering me. <gasps> He's just like, <clears throat> I am bawling at the thought. Thank you that you won't be with me forever and I and you don't love me anymore. I don't know if there's a point anymore to anything. All I can oh my god. All I can think of is or is all I can think of or dream of is you. You were on my mind all day thinking of how you smelled in the hotel lobby when I first saw you that oh my god. Everything about you makes me get butterflies. Butterflies in my stomach. Please tell me you are just very busy and not seeing these texts right now, princess. Please. I cherished every second I was with you. Did they like hook up or something? You are the reason I wake up. Oh my God. You're my rock ruby. St uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Escalation, boys. Escalation. We are in all caps now. Ruby, stop ignoring me. Why are you ignoring me after all of the money that I... Oh, buddy. Oh, but you owe me. I gave you money, so now you owe me. I am only loyal to you and how much I love and appreciate and adore you. How dare you not answer me? I see you actively posting on your Instagram story and you have not answered me once. You are making me very mad. I have treated you like a princess and you won't even take the time to respond. I will not tolerate this. I'm not even going to read the next line. We, I, I, it's not in caps. This is him backpedaling. This is him going, ah, fuck, my fault, OG. I still love you. Here we go. I am sorry for getting mad at you. I did not mean to. Bro doesn't want to lose her. He's like, I'm mad, but I don't want to lose you. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. But the love I have for you caused me to get very emotional. You're my queen. Okay. Well, oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god. Bro, his name is Brandon Weird Only Fan Guy. Oh. oh man. Baby, please answer me, my queen. Please don't leave me. What is all this? It just keeps going. Wait, this is a two minute video or twenty three second video. I'm eight seconds in. I've spent thirty more th thirty thousand dollars more on you since we met because I thought we had something genuine and real. All right, you know what, Brandon, Brandon, leak the rest of the DMs. It's time to see. I'm ready to see what was what was being said. I will empty my bank account just to be with you. I will try. Oh my god. All right, you can read this one if you want. Um, I'm gonna just read the first part. And move on, my perfect little princess. You are stunning. You are my breath of fresh air. In a world that's so dark and cold, you are the sun in my thunderstorm, the spurt of luck in my day, the pot of lucky gold at the end of the rainbow. You are my everything in this life. <laughs> the pussy grip, and I wish nothing more to spend the rest of my life with you. I can spend all of my money and be homeless just to wake up every day knowing that you are happy. I can watch you have sexual actions with other men just to pleasure your sexual needs. I can be your sissy boy! No! Bro, put it in writing. Bro, you never do this. What do you mean? Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need to read this. Woo! I will send you 10 Bitcoin right now if you'll answer me. That's $400,000. All you have to do is respond with one word, Ruby. <gasps> Ruby let, let Ruby let me respond. I'll respond for you and I'll just take 10% finders fee, Ruby. Ruby, please, I'll respond, please. Just say poop. Just say poop or K. Just say poop or K. Just say anything. Dude, this is crazy. <gasps> Wait, without even Oh my god. Without even hearing a response from her. He goes and gets Kitten, <laughs> are you there? My messages say you read them, but it could be a glitch like the last time. <laughs> it's been four days. What do you say? I I'm hitting him with a poop. I'm hitting him with a straight up poop. P-O-O-P, -O -O -P, baby. Boom. I have a surprise to show you my commitment. I know you will love it. I'm screaming. <laughs> I'm screaming. This is the most well-documented down bad shit I've ever seen in my entire life. That is insane. Skinny calves, though. Something to think about. We see some palm trees poking out on the other side of the calf. Do you think that's the last OnlyFans girl? Surprise! What do you think? It took almost three hours. Damn, he, he works pretty fast. <laughs> that's a fast tattoo artist. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, now we have one more video. Hold on. Chat, I'm sorry if you want to watch anything else, but I am, I am, I mean, I am fupa to asshole here, boys. I am, I'm deep. I'm, I mean, this is cr number one spender. Bro said number one spender. I know. I mean, that's real. Good. Well done, tattoo overall, I'd say. Wait, is that on his? Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. wait, what part of his body is this? Is that the back of it? I'm trying to figure out what part of his body is this. I think it's like the back of his calf, right? Oh my god, I need an update on this story now. Hold on. Okay, so that's those are the videos. Oh wow. Okay. Uh on Twitter, many pointed out how dangerous this is for Rose. Uh essentially she has given someone who is very clearly obsessed with her her phone number. See that like what led up to that though? Because he's clearly he yeah, he clearly has some sort of connection with her. Um obviously the connection being see this is the thing, right? This is this is this is my thing with like OnlyFans stuff. And I don't blame women for this, but it is reality, right? Here's the problem. You you're gonna like the 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 model, the business model of of like high-end OnlyFans interactions are it's it's like it's like cocaine for crazy people, man. It really is because it is so like, yeah, this dude's crazy and I don't blame her for that. Hold on. Let me play Apparently these. Apparently this guy was on a show about strange addictions and was on it for being addicted to porn. No, it wasn't Link it. No, he was not Link it. The point I'm making is like, you definitely see a higher percentage of these crazy fucking dudes with like OnlyFans chicks because it is just, it's like, 
yeah, I'm I'm super rich and I'm also kind of autistic or have some sort of developmental issue where I can't distinguish fantasy from reality. So, yeah, this play that we're doing, it's not clear to me because I'm crazy and I'm also really, re really rich. And oh, my God, I have your phone number. You're in love with me. You're so in love with me. I think it's 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 unfortunate. Right. I, I don't know what conclusion I'm drawing with this, but I am saying this is it, like this happens a lot. This happens a lot, and I would feel the more successful uh, someone in my life became on OnlyFans, the more worried I would be for their safety, is what I'll say. There's not a single large OnlyFans content creator that I know personally that doesn't have uh, some sort of insanity stalker problem. And that sucks, and that's scary, <clears throat> and that's unfortunate, but that's also kind of a reality of having tears on your OnlyFans that, like, just... I mean, these people are crazy. Don't even give them, don't even, you know how they say like, oh, oh, you know, you're giving them the open door. I don't even think some of the ladies are doing that. I just think that even just having a tier where you can text them is like enough for crazy people. It's crazy. Um, probably most of the women in your life have had stalkers. No, but what I'm saying is like, be, yes, I get what you're saying, but like, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy. It's heightened with sex work. That's kind of what I'm saying. I had a stalker. Yeah, but it's heightened with sex work. Uh, they didn't meet up. He found her in public. Bro, that's it. I'd retire. Overall, it's concerning. We hope Ruby Rose understands the nature of the situation. Let us know what you think. Ruby Rose better be careful, bro. It'd be weird ass homies like that that will literally end your life, bro. They got nothing to lose. I mean, okay, they already lost it life. I don't think this is a fair characterization of the incredibly rich guy. I actually think that him being so rich makes him scarier. Um, he didn't lose in life. He's like mad rich, which makes it scarier. They, they, homie, probably know where she live. Not a game to be playing. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, I don't know what... I'm I'm not an OnlyFans or a sex worker, so I don't know if this is so obvious. So any ladies in my chat who might be, th this is not, just correct me. Don't get offended, just correct me. I feel like you gotta take Bro, extra care so to like overemphasize when you're talking to these dudes. Hey, this is fantasy. You have paid for this. I will role play, but this is an exchange of money for that. And then we will be getting them when it's over. Hey, that is what you paid for. We are not da 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 deuces. I don't. Is that something people do? Is that weird? Is that taboo? Does that help? I don't even know though. I don't know. I'm not in this thing, man. Now you're 100 correct. Boundaries benefit you and them for both your mentals. Real, real, real. Um, wouldn't that hurt? Wouldn't that hurt business if you did that? I don't know, bro. You want them to become parasocial so you get more money. You play or you get played. Okay, man. You just said the part that I'm a little scared to say. I do think the way the business model is set up with some OnlyFans content creators, you, you do want these guys to get addicted. You do want them to think they're in a relationship. You don't want to get hurt. You don't want to get stalked, but you want them to be right up to that point of that because that's the max profits. I'm not saying all OnlyFans women want that, but I'm saying if we're talking about like maximizing your profits, you want dudes to be right up to the point of giving you money, no danger to you, but if they're convinced, you know, that there's something more going on. Also, I'll be clear. There is nothing wrong with being like, I got money to spend. I want to spend it on porn I like. Oh, there's this chick I like on OnlyFans. I'm going to spend it on her. Cool. Who cares? That doesn't matter, right? I just want to make sure that those people doing that are aware that that's what you're doing. If you're Wubby not shopping for a wife. shown us anything, it's if you become dedicated enough and then prove you have value, you can become friends with him and maybe even work with him or live with him someday i've said this before the, the people i have hired um filled a a a need in my in this like like okay booty for example booty was friend of a friend came up for a party was very helpful and i'm like i need someone like that in my life to be very helpful and then i'm like show me your asshole he bends over show me. i'm like tight that's nice but that's not the parasocial pipeline right um you're late you're late to the game it's like early adopter, right? You could say that the UF girls are essentially taking advantage of guys who are not all there in the head. Um, here's what I'll say about it. I think that I have, like I said, I have friends, like legitimate friends, who, who do OnlyFans very successfully, 
for a living and I have a lot of mutuals who do it for a living. I don't think you can point at a girl doing OnlyFans and go, you're doing this unethically. Do I think some girls doing OnlyFans, some men doing OnlyFans are doing it unethically? Yes, absolutely. Do I think you are default by doing it? Not at all, not even slightly. I think that the only way to know that would really to be deep in the weeds and and like, I don't know. That's why, I, I mean, listen, I don't think there's anything inherently unethical about it at all. I think you could absolutely do it. And I think you could stream unethically. I think you can sit here. And that's why I always try to make jokes about it on this stream. You could sit here and like make your whole sub thing, your whole empire about being besties with everyone and da da da. And it's like, come on, come on. That's why I've always said you give subs, you subscribe. If you like my content, that's where it ends. That's where it has to end. Here's my advice to any whales in chat, any dudes who like OnlyFans in chat. I'm going to give you some advice right now, okay? Use OnlyFans to get your nut, okay? Go support a sex worker to get your fucking nut, all right? Don't use it as a dating app. Enjoy it. Have fun. Get your nut. Get into the fantasy. Live it. Have great, good time, you know? You need to stop using OnlyFans as a dating app, though. I'm telling you, this guy, bro, you could find a hot girlfriend. I'm hate to say it. I'm get on any dating app, bro, and start. If you want it to be this way, it seems like you want it to be this way. Start flaunting how rich you are. You're going to find. Listen, I was at a restaurant the other day. This was like when all my friends were in town. I was at a restaurant and I, sh I shit you not. Okay. This guy probably in his <clears throat> early 50s, late 40s. Okay. He's standing there at the bar. Uh, whatever, no, nothing weird about purchase it. Purchase many women in some countries for that much money. Okay, we're not talking about purchasing. There are ladies out there, there are attractive ladies out there who are very happy with just being with a dude because he has money. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If both adults are consenting and want to do that, cool. I am gonna fuck. If that's what this, did you, right? So the point I'm making is I was at this restaurant, okay? Just sitting, whatever. Dude at the bar, early 50s, maybe late 40s, just kind of standing around, not thinking about it. And then, I mean, he just looks like normal, whatever. This girl comes in and, and she is like model-esque, like tight skirt, titties out, just like probably in her mid twenties, very attractive young woman comes up to him. And in my brain, I go, all right, this is some rich guy, whatever, or wh who knows what it is, but like, okay, don't think much about it. They're at a drink, they're having a drink at the bar, they're whatever, okay? Then 15 minutes later, two more women, equally as attractive, equally as like bumping come in gr everyone greets each other kisses whatever drinks they all head over to a table together they sit at a booth four of them all sit there together and i'm like what is the what, what and they're all laughing and getting drinks and he's schmoozing he's got one next to him the other two sitting across from him he's schmoozing hand on the leg of the one next to him i'm like man this is what it's like to have daughters no i'm kidding but like I don't know what's going on, but at the end of the day, right? They all seem to be relatively happy to be there, consenting. They were having fun. They were laughing. The point I'm making, dude, is what is your goal here, creepy OnlyFans guy? What is your goal here? Because if you're looking for someone to sit down next to you, you can make that happen. Oh, bro. Okay. I can't, I'm so happy we get to read this comment here. About the OnlyFans thing. OnlyFans bitches be abusing men out they money and cry they get creepy DM like STFU. Guys never pay for OnlyFans. Google the bitch you want to see. Most of their content are leaked. <laughs> Damn, what brother? <laughs> what was the point of any this of dude what needs you to said? Focus on the post nut clarity and slow down on the pre nut charity real real husband addicted to breast milk can you blame him hello hello oh here we go this is the first one all right we'll see if there's any better oh 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 is he just frozen do you think the video was frozen i bet you did you gullible idiot your okay. weakness offends me me okay. blowing a raspberry right there may have even startled you. And if that's the case, you absolutely make me sick, you fool. Your eyes told you one thing, but the truth was very different. They played a trick on you, those lying bastards. So He's standing on his chair. 
<laughs> all right, all right. It's like, uh, he just, it's a little goof. It's like little, you know, those little tricks elves play. All right, that's fair. You know what, fair. Allegedly, he is a crypto millionaire. He hit it big in the crypto boom. God. And that's where he got most of his money from, allegedly. I How much money, though? 100% confirm that. Is dude, is dude throwing around $400,000 offers because he's got it like that? Or is that like every dollar to his name? And then the most interesting discovery occurred up there with like finding the One Piece. They found out that this guy is most likely the same guy from MTV's True Life, I'm Addicted to Porn. And they found this image here. His shirt goes in Sano style, by the way. It says, born for porn, which I believe should just be a, a crime, like a charge, if you just wear that in general. But anyway, <clears throat> logically it made sense. Someone spending $62,000 on OnlyFans, a single OnlyFans model, is absolutely addicted to porn in some way. And yep. it yep. seems like, through this evidence, he may have been addicted to porn for quite a long time. Now, the True Life episode has Brandon talk about his addiction, and addiction in all of its forms is an extremely sad thing, and porn addiction is a legitimate illness. It's a real thing. And Brandon talks about how it's affected it? his real-life relationships. And <laughs> Bro, just stop looking. Like, what? Like, what? <clears throat> oh, I have an illness. Oh, my God, what are you suffering? I can't stop looking at dirty asshole. Bro, just like... Bro, just like, turn off the computer. What are you doing, bro? Also, it's kind of led him to have this inability to focus on things that are important, like getting a job. There's like a little chunk of time dedicated to his job Stop search. Stop gambling? Bro, just don't go to the casino, 30 bro. 30 minutes going through Craigslist looking for job listings, and then after 30 minutes, he just starts watching porn for two hours. And he says that he watches porn between 5 to 10 hours a day. 5 to 10 hours wow, a day watching bro. porn. That is an incomprehensibly outrageous amount of time to be dedicated to watching anything at all. It's so okay. Well, that's hey, to all right, Charles. That's rich coming from the One Piece fan. But listen, if we're gonna start criticizing porn addicts, can we be fair to these like Luffy lovers out there? I'm sorry, but y'all are like y'all have you have acceptable addictions to cringe. I don't know where in society we agreed looking at asshole for five hours a day is where we draw the line. But I think you guys watching every new fucking, what do they call them? Season? No, they don't call them, they call them like, when the whole new bunch of seasons for anime come out. Y'all are a problem too, okay? Arcs. Yeah, oh, the new, oh, the new One Piece arc came out. Bro, you guys, it, 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 same addiction, different, different font, bro. Statistically, it's, it has to be a few. Don't lie to me. Put a one in chat if you've actually, it, during this stream, come. Someone, I know, there's, there, you are, there are too many men on too many computers right now to where, Keebs, why did you just put a one, bro? How does that, what are you even doing over there? God, crypto has made people who should have been broke and died broke really rich. And I know, Wubby, how can you say that? How could, that is so awful. I stand by. Every word that just came out of my mouth with my whole chest. There are people who did crypto, and yeah, they're, they're smart people, and they did this. And that. But then there's just, there are so many motherfuckers out there who got way too much money at way too young of an age with no life skills, with nothing going for them. And I don't, well, Wubby, isn't that you? But you can argue, right, that I didn't just press a button and then get rich, right? I have had to learn how to speak to this audience to entertain you guys, to yada yada. And you can still say I'm overpaid, that's fine. But a lot of these dudes at like 17 years old just went, yeah, I'll buy this, whatever. I'm, oh my God, I'm a millionaire 10 years later. And then we get Brandons who are like, I have so much money, I don't know how to speak to a woman, but I could buy her. I would like to do a Wubby Crew live camping trip. Like just, and I'm talking though, like I'm talking miserable camping trip like not glamping like bring the boys out because here's the thing none of my boys know how to camp that way and i know i'm some extent i'm but i'm to any of my boys right now coming out going i do know how to camp. no 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 no, no. i mean a hatchet a sleeping bag do you no brother no i'm talking no fire starter i want someone to die i think it's gonna be carlos i want carlos to die if you need a guide, I'm an av avid camper. Bro, you know what you are? You're just good at being homeless. That's it. Camping is so boring. I, I went camping one time um, as, a as a young pup. <clears throat> 
I went with my my very reli- I don't know if I've told this story. I went with my with my very religious girlfriend and her family, her dad, her brother, and her mom. And we went camping. I didn't want to go, but I didn't want to be away from her for like a week. So I decided to go. Uh, new story. Maybe it's a new story. I don't know if I've told it. And uh, it's the last time I've ever been camping. And it was, uh, it, was, uh, it was the most miserable experience of my life. And I fucking hate camping. So first off, <clears throat> the only way to make camping enjoyable is if you spend money to make the outdoors like the indoors. At that point, why am I camping? Okay. But uh, a week is too long. First off, thank you. It is too long. <clears throat> it was too long. It was maybe like five days. Um, that's glamping. Yeah, I would glamp, but then I'm like, well, why am I camping? So we go camp. There's not like a huge ending to the story, but I'm going to tell you why I hate camping. First reason, okay? We get there, spend setting up. It's, it's exhausting, but whatever. That's not what I'm complaining about. Everything's set up. And I remember turning to the mom and I go, now what do we do? And she goes, we sit. And we sat in front of a fire and did fucking nothing. Well, how about you read? I, 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 I don't like reading. Okay, well, you sit. All right, okay. All right, fine. Well, hey, let's go exploring, as they say. Let's go for a walk. Okay. So we walked. All right, we, we walked about as far as I'm willing to go, maybe an hour or two just around the area. Okay, what am I doing for the next four days, Karen? What am I going to, what are we doing? I can't have sex with my Christian girlfriend because one, she won't, and two, we're all sleeping in the same goddamn tent. Okay, so then we just, I'm just sitting there all fucking day. We'll drink and do drugs, bro. I'm, I went, okay, maybe that too, but even then, I, I can, why don't I just do that here? Just enjoy the nature. I want to fucking strangle you people. Just enjoy the nature. I love, bleh. I went to Iceland and I loved seeing we went to we went uh out into the into the we went to an ice cave and we went snowmobiling and it was very nature right but then after spending a full day of doing that we drove home and got a nice warm bed nice place to shit and i was great right you're just you suck at it what i'm saying is i love to enjoy nature not for 96 hours it gets fucking boring and i'm not done i'm not done i'm not, I'm, I'm not done ranting about this yet then on day two, it rained, it rained. My shoes through an incorrect step got soaked, okay? I had a second pair of shoes that were significantly more rugged, but also way more uncomfortable. So then I was stuck wearing those. And then my socks got soaked at one point. So I spent a lot of time in the tent with my toes out trying to warm up and then my girlfriend at the time's dad didn't want me sleeping next to her, so I got sandwiched between dad and brother, and we did feet to head, head to feet, and for five days, I would get terrible sleep, back and neck hurt, wake up in the morning, wow, this is pretty. Two hours later, I'm bored, I'm sitting, I'm just poking things in the sand with a stick. I got so bored after... I mean, it is so much time of doing nothing. You're a Zoomer, my man? No, I'm not! I'm not even, though. I'm not meditate. Jesus, we got goddamn Buddha in chat. That's great. Oh, cool, dude. Everything you're saying, every single thing you're saying is fun for a certain amount of time. Chat, you're all fucking wrong. Camping sucks. Dude, preach it. Preach it before you get banned. You're just a city person. Hey, plan activities. Okay, someone just said it so great. I think the difference between you and me, chat, is that I asked for a solution to my boredom, and your solution was, someone in chat just said this, dig a hole. I think therein lies the problem. You find digging a hole to be entertaining. I find digging a hole to maybe be entertaining for like 20 minutes. And then you're just working. Yeah, I'm just, uh, just digging a hole. It's fun with the boys. Ah, ah, but see, then here's my, here, I have a counter to that. Allow me to please, please allow me to argue this before I get too into stream here, okay? Please allow me to argue this. Please, boys, please hear me out. I'll hear you out. Here's my counter. I have been invited to go camping with the boys. And they say, well, Wubby, it's going to be fun because you're with the boys. And I say, okay, why? And they're like, well, bring some board games, bring cards, we'll bring booze, we'll have fun. And I go, I hear you. Let's do all of that at my house. Everything you just described, we'll do right here. 
we'll get better food, we'll get better booze, we'll get better bathrooms, we'll get more comfortable chairs, we'll get better board games. And their response is, ah, but it's different. What's the difference? You had to drive eight hours to be colder, wetter, less comfortable, worse atmosphere. Alexa, play sounds of the fucking forest on speaker. Thanks, bitch. Hey, Google, dim the lights, asshole. Wait, don't do it. Never mind. No, cancel, 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 cancel. Fresh air? My brother in Christ? I'm sick of the fresh air argument. My HVAC system pumps out air that hurts my lungs less than all the pine bullshit that's going to make me wheeze after 15 minutes of smelling grass. I don't want to hear fresh air, okay? You, I, I'm sorry, but the fresh air argument is I'm not living in goddamn downtown NYC, okay? I'm not sucking down the fumes of 15 street meats. I'm first off, I'm already kind of outside the city, one. And two, my HVAC be sucking, bro. Wubby's on edge tonight? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I hate camping. I hate camp, and I just don't understand it. Bottom of the gene pool, brother. I. How is bottom of the gene pool? I'm sorry, but let's let's flip that argument on you. You want to go be homeless for fun for three days, and I'm at the bottom of the gene pool, my man. No, 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 no. Thank you. My ancestors worked too goddamn hard to pull themselves out of the mud for me to go do it for fun. All right. <laughs> I want to enjoy nature just okay that was cabinet. that was that was out of pocket i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm i feel like some of you need to be reminded that i am half joking when i go on these horrific rants in my day-to-day -day life this is what it actually looks like because some of you really need this reminder because you're autistic okay in my day-to-day -day life this is what it looks like hey Webby, we're going camping you want to come ah, i don't like camping that much all right all right but that's not content you dumbasses Jesus Christ! My friends wanted to go camping and play magic in the woods. Fuck that, my buy you gonna fly away? <laughs> Real, dude. I would not bring my cards to the outdoors. No way would I do that. I'm late, why do you not like camping? The shit is the best. Uh, okay, here, I will, I'll drop the character and I'll give you the real answer. Why do I not like camping? All of the camping activities that have been pitched to me or that I have personally done myself, I either don't like at all or prefer to do in the comfort of a home, whether it be your home, my home, your apartment, my apartment. That is my super boring and simple answer of the activities I either don't like or I like them more in my home. So for example, fishing. I don't like fishing personally. So that one would be that. Playing board games. I prefer to do that in someone's home. Hiking, not a big fan of hiking. I just like sleeping in my own bed. Brother, brother. I have been camping, so I went once then and I did a much smaller camping thing. Both times I've gone camping, I came back with legitimate back pain. I, I, I don't know why this isn't ever talked about, but like legitimately, the times I've gone camping, I will come back with like serious back problems. Not like a thousand hours of it, just, ah, my back is fucked up. It's cause you're fat. Oh, oh what is that? What, what are you? Okay, well, I'll just, hey. Stop having the bad back. I've lost a lot of weight and I still like a nice bed. Call me fucking crazy, but I think we've, you know, the stone age was a long time ago, boys. Um, just bring an air mattress. Okay, but see then here's what I'm saying. Here's the other, this goes into my other point. The more you make camping enjoyable, the more it's just doing home out there. And I do like that. If you pitched me, Wubby, I got a $750,000 RV and we're gonna glamp. Yes, cow me in, brother. I get a shit in a toilet. I get a sleep in a bed. We're not camping. We brought a home to the woods. I'm in. I'm talking about straight up tent on the ground, sleeping bed, sleeping bag, camping. I, I can't get behind it, man. There's something special about pooping in a hole you dug though. Am I crazy for saying that doesn't sound fun? <laughs> Why am I crazy? Why am I the madman for saying I don't want to shit in a hole? <laughs> Why am I so... You know what's funny though? I, I, I know I'm getting shit on for it, but there's so many of you who just don't want to do that either. <laughs> I know a lot of you who aren't talking are like, yeah, that sounds fucking awful. <laughs> and you know what? I don't want to walk in on peanut shitting in a hole. You know? And you know what's crazy too? It's not even like a Richie Poo thing. I, I know people who camp like rich motherfuckers. My uncle, my uncle and his whole like niece, all them, 
they would camp like fucking rich bastards like more than i can even afford now like just crazy rv like a home on wheels and it's like what there's definitely a way to ride the line between comfortable and just straight up camping <clears throat> you know what i can get behind that best shit i ever took was on the snake river in a bucket with a view of the lake hey man i don't want to shake your hand nope i don't even i don't i that's see i'm good i'm good man i'm so good on all that you know what i will say though can we find a middle ground see this is what i like to do on stream I like to get really mad, piss everybody off. Everyone gets pissed off at me. Then we tie it in and you get a little, you get a little nugget of who I really am. Okay, here we go. I'm going to tie it in with you guys. The idea of getting drunk, you know, shooting guns before you getting drunk. Don't touch the guns once alcohol is busted out. Doing drugs, hanging out, playing board games, going to bed, and then going home. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. That sounds like a good time for me. I can totally concede and see where camping can be fun in this amount. I can't get behind four days though. Do you see what I'm saying? Are we okay? Can we at least find middle ground there? Just rent a cabin in the woods, man. That is what my old ass does. That they sounds are fun. all over a man. I I'm more into that. Camp. I I'll be honest, the whole cabin in the woods, I'm more into. I can actually get behind that, but that's not, I wouldn't say that's camping. Remember, tent on the ground, sleeping bag, cold, built your own fire, not into it. But cabin in the woods, shit, okay. I'm, I'm into it. You know what I really just need? I need a place to diarrhea and then it disappear. And if you say hole in the ground, you're coping. I need a place to diarrhea and it goes away. You know what I mean? That's all I really need. I need a place that I need a, I need somewhere to dry my socks that isn't the sun. You know, is that too much? Just do it in the river. Yeah, but God forbid a little honey walks up, a little cutie pie, a little like, I don't know. I picture just like I picture topless, busty Pocahontas with her beautiful native braids walking out with her huge pierced titties. And I'm just diarrheaing. She's got face paint and feathers and shit. And I'm just like, oh. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm, I'm so sorry. And she just shakes her head like she does like a movement. I don't know what it means, but I know in her language it means shame. And she walks away. <laughs> Man, that I'm sorry, but it, listen, you know? Can I get a poll? Do you like camping? And I will define camping. This doesn't have to be in the poll. Camping. Tent ground, woods, fire, sleeping bag. Do you like camping? I, I am curious to know what my chat actually thinks about it. Now that we found See, the common ground. Camping and why you should shut the fuck up is a post on the subreddit. Bro, I, why are you? I'm not telling you to shut up. I grew up in West Virginia and my family is full of avid campers. Okay, so we're coming already from a non-biased place. Hunters and fishers. I'm a homebody and I enjoy a good camping trip and maybe some hunting and fishing. However, see chat go feral over this is just wild. Oh my God, they agree with me. Never mind. They're not biased. Everything they're saying is true and based. Holy shit, guys. You got to realize that you either grow up a certain way or have a certain kind of personality you enjoy it. I love this person. I'm modding this person. I'm sorry I said anything bad about you. You're not biased. You're genius. You're God. This is like, it's one thing to go glamping with the boys, sitting and shitting in the woods ain't for everyone. Rit based. Dennis is, the Dens is correct. Everything you can do when camping outside of certain things can be done at home with more comfort. It's a legit argument, especially if you don't enjoy the act of camping. It's just not for everyone. I love it. I love doing it. I love gang banging the boys in the woods, brother. If that was camping, we'd be having a different conversation. Um, but some people just don't, don't, you got to calm down, man. See, you know what? You're an actual wubby viewer because Everyone's a Wubby viewer until their interest comes up on the docket that night. That's what I've noticed, right? Everyone's a Wubby fan for like nine streams. And then I get to their thing that they've attached their personality to. And they're like, I knew he hates trans people. I knew it. It really is. It, everyone's a Wubby fan until I get to your thing. Bro, it, it ain't that serious. I, I, and I joke. And I do joke to rile you up. I do. I do. But ultimately, that post said it better. It's just, you know, uh, I truly understand the boring part, but the other parts are worth it to me. This is so cute. You know what? Can I, can I be honest with you? I wish I could be this. 
I'm gonna be dead ass with you. You look so happy and this looks so beautiful and I do appreciate the beauty of nature, okay? I see you with your wife and then I don't know who the girl is you're standing next to, but, and this is just so cute, you know? Look at that, that's gorgeous. Look at all those places you can poop. Beautiful, I, I had a come to Jesus moment in Iceland where I was like, damn, this is gorgeous. I wouldn't want to sleep out there for six days. <laughs> No, bro, you a real one though. I see. I can kind of respect this. Fuck this. But good for you. F holy fuck this with my whole ass. This, this, I mean, shit. Good for you, bro. You know what I don't like too? When people act like I can't appreciate the beauty of nature because I don't want to sleep in it for four nights. This is so beautiful. It would cause me to stop in my tracks if I saw it live, like in with my own vision, not on a photo, right? I don't want to sleep out there for four days. I, I at all. I'm sorry. I'm I, I I like the benefits of all of what modern society has brought me. I I can appreciate this for about 15 minutes, and I'm happy, and it will affect me, and I might get emotional, and then I'm gonna get back in my climate-controlled vehicle, and I'm gonna drive the fuck out of there because I got a Tarkov raid to hit, baby. How about one night? I said I do. I, like I said, one night. Glamping, boys, booze, board games. I'm in, bro. Look at that chat. I think we found some common ground here. What? <laughs> what be after destroying the natural habitat and then throwing 12 bucks into the river? <laughs> bro, I, I am telling you right now, I have pushed some shit out of my asshole that I know would affect the ecosystem of whatever river I'm putting it into. I, I think that mother nature or God or whatever you believe in has definitely blessed the planet with he doesn't like camping because they know if I left that bio waste into the river, there would be, a, it would be like a, a darkness that just whoosh, creeps out, just taking everything with it. There's no way that my poop in the river can be a positive impact for whatever lived there. Check this out, boys. We're going camping. Everybody get in. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. We're going camp. Yeah, we're going camping. Oh yeah, let's go. I'm there. Oh please, please. This is bigger than like my first apartment, bro. Are you kidding me? Shit. Oh, wow. oh come on now. That, okay, bigger than my first apartment. Nicer than most places I've entered. Are you kidding me? Now this is Jesus, bro. I'm sitting here. I'm eating those mini gas station donuts, and I'm vibing. I'm looking out the window. Yeah, it's no, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Very rustic.